Hi there ladies and gentlemen, and this video is a quick experiment about scavenger stations. So here I am at Jamaica Plain, and I've set up a scavenging station right here. Need to get back to Diamond and City it one of has days. one, two, Biggest three, town I ever four, saw. five. Yeah, let's see how many of those are actually assigned. One, two, three, four, five. All five are assigned. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I'll come into a town, and I won't have been there for quite some time, and I'll go to the workbench, and I'll open it up, and there won't be very much in it. Now, this one has a bunch of stuff in it, uh, because I've been working here, so I'm going to take it all. Remind you of Friday day. There you go. So there's nothing in this workbench, and yet I have five scrap stations, each of which is assigned a settler, and my happiness is decent for the settlement. It's at 87. 87 happiness which is decently high. So let's just run an experiment and see how long it takes for some scrap to appear in my workbench. Uh, so let's sit down and wait. 24 hours. Let's see how long it takes. All right, uh, that's the end of day one. Let's take a look. And nothing. All right, let's try again. Let's wait another 24 hours. See how long it takes for anything to appear. That's the end of day two. Let's take a look. Nothing. Let's try one more day. Let's wait 24 hours. That's the end of day three. Let's take a look. Nothing. All right, let's diagnose this problem. So what are the possibilities? Obviously, in-game time doesn't really matter, at least when you're in your settlement. So what are the other two options? Well, option one is that it goes by real lifetime, not in-game time. Option two is that maybe it only collects scrap if you're outside of town, like Maybe it, it considers you being in town as not counting towards time going by. So let's try that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move. All right, so I've reverted to an old save. Here I am at Jamaica Plain, and you can see the chair is missing. I didn't place the chair. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to try this, this, this experiment again. So I'm going to empty the entire uh, workbench. I had to take everything and, and I empty it out we take as much as we can um, to run this experiment again. And the, the experiment we're going to run now is to use actual hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game like I normally would. And after 24 hours of gameplay, I'm going to come back and see what's here. So let's take a look at the, the actual time. Okay, it's 1044. Oh, here we go. It's April 17th, 2289 at 1044 p.m. April 17th, 2289 at 10.44 p.m. So I'm going to let the game run while I play, and then I'm going to start recording again on April 18th, 2289 at hopefully around 11 p.m., and we'll see exactly what we got. So here's hoping this works. All right, so I spent some time building robots, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go check out my Jamaica Plane workshop. So let's take a look. At the time, so it's April 19th. I forget exactly what time it was when I when I showed this to you earlier, but I think it's been 24 hours. And so, since simply fast traveling from place to place and simply sleeping or waiting didn't produce the scrap, this experiment is going to prove whether or not just actually playing the game for any amount of time produces scrap. So now I'm really concerned that it's going to require me to spend actual in-game or, or in life, real, real life hours. Like it's not going to produce scrap for 24 real human hours. And if that's the case, then this is not worth it. But if it only takes 24 in-game hours to start producing scrap, Oh, that's a good sign. It means there's something in here. Ooh, and check it out. 
Look at that. All right. So can I, I'm going to take it all and look at component view. So uh, two adhesive, two ballistic fiber. Nice. And some, a little bit of everything. All right, so not a whole lot, but uh, that was just about 24 in-game hours, and I, and that was only five. That was only five scavenging stations produced all of that in about 24 hours. I've included some fairly rare stuff like ballistic fiber, and uh, so that's proof that it actually works. Okay, so I did this whole video just uh, primarily to experiment because I didn't know all this time I've been building all these scavenging stations and wondering if it worked and I wanted to prove to myself that it did work and there's proof that it works so what did we learn from this we learned that you can't simply assign settlers to scavenging stations and then sit in a chair and wait or go to a bed and sleep or fast travel and fast travel back no you do actually have to go out and do other things Play the game, do some quests, build some robots, kill some robots, and come back before you start to see the fruit of your labor. And that labor manifests in 24 in-game hours is when you first start to see stuff. So, it's not, it's not useless, and that's what I wanted to demonstrate. So I hope this video was useful. Thanks very much for watching.